second time here at BlizzCon and of course it's always a pleasure to be here. Um, fortunately I've got I'm so lucky to be here twice in a row because of Hearthstone Global Games. But I I love it here, like the opening presentation is there's so much hype and it's just good to, you know, see some of my viewers from that watch my stream and also surround myself with a lot of passionate people who love the games I play. Well, I think representing your country is like getting the chance to represent your country is always a good thing and I'm so happy that I got to represent New Zealand because I'm half Kiwi and I, even though I'm based in Paris people people are like you're not Kiwi but you know um, I think that there's not a, yeah New Zealand is not that big in the esports world and it's just like we're always looked at as an underdog and it's just nice to you know start from the beginning and like come all the way here up to BlizzCon and show people that, you know, we're not just some team that you can run over. We're also strong, too. <laughs> well, the Kiwis are just a lot of fun. They're really chill and down to earth. I think it's a lot of fun playing. I, I really enjoy playing Hearthstone with a team. I, I, even last year, I was su successful at it with Raynad and Kranich. Um, it's just been a lot of fun, like getting to know them. It, the journey, like I said earlier, is like we we were talking all on Discord for weeks, and then now we get to be here in BlizzCon and actually see each other in person and hang out. It's it's really cool. Well, sometimes there would be a little bit of a like sometimes Jack and Mage will be like going over everything and maybe they have some differences but then in the end we always meet meet in the middle and we're just like yeah you're right this is this is really good and it's it's really nice because we consider everything we consider everyone's ideas and uh, mage and jack and ting tong well all of them are very strong players and like mage is actually the pro on our team so yeah we we uh we we listen to his advice every chance we get and we all learn from each other <laughs> they all think that i really am biased with even <laughs> with even lock cuz i play it a lot and i'm like no 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 i'm not really biased but like that's why today i just played it and uh, yeah um, well yeah we all just meet meet in the middle and it all just works out in the end well, this has been the second time that I've made it into HGG, and since esports is not that big in New Zealand yet, um, some would say it's very easy to make it into HGG for New Zealand. Um, they're really excited. They're like, there's only like two girls actually that get in. One is usually from Philippines, and one is me from New Zealand. So there's like a lot of hype. They're like, oh my god, yeah, go girl power, you know, show them that you can take on the boys too, and. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really lucky that because I'm a streamer, a lot of the New Zealanders know who I am and they, they vote for me and then they also vote for the pros from New Zealand. <laughs> Actually, no, I would say that it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it, it, it fluctuates, like sometimes if there's like something that's hype going on, maybe like a little bit. If I'm, if I'm more consistent, yeah, if I haven't been streaming in a while, maybe it'll, it'll be down at first, or even just changing the game. It could just cut your viewers in half. They really like it, they like it when I play Hearthstone. <laughs> well, there's lots of events, and there's WESG coming up, and maybe I, I might be invited to a Seed Story Cup maybe one day since I, I'm currently based in Europe. So, but more, more or less, I'm, I'm, I just want to be a streamer and I just want to get better at the game. And if a tournament comes along and I get to join, sure, why not? It looks really cool. I like the whole spirit animals theme going on. Uh, the trolls look like they're they're a lot of fun and cool. Uh, I haven't seen much of it because I was really busy with uh, HCG. I saw like a couple of cards only, but I think more were released later on. So I'd like to see them. I'd like to see it more first. Well, I'd like Shaman to be a really... I mean, it's, it's an okay class, but it's only got like one archetype right now, which is the Shutterwalk Shaman. I used to love playing Shaman back in the day when it was uh, mid-range and aggro. And so I just hope that Shaman has like a couple more decks that I can play with. And yeah, because I really, I really love Shaman. Well, um, I'm actually...
actually not a big card player gamer. <laughs> like when when I got introduced to Hearthstone, I was like, oh, what kind of game is that? And they said a card game, and I said, no, I am not really a card game player. But they're like, no, 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 Patrick, please try it. Like I know you'll like it. And they said it's not physical cards. It's it's on the computer, and it's like made to be an online card game. And I said, okay, okay, I'll, I'll try it out. And because I had some history playing Warcraft, I was like really enticed, and I. It captured me straight away because I heard like little jobs done, you know, from Warcraft. It's like, oh my gosh, and the artwork's amazing, the animation's amazing. It's really simple, which it gets complicated later once you go further down. But it's just, it really entices uh, casual players straight off the bat. And that's what I loved about Hearthstone. Um, when I uh, saw Gwent, which I, I know you didn't ask Gwent, but when I saw Gwent, um, I didn't really like the artwork. So I played, I played a game. And then I just never played it ever, anymore after that. And then I heard about um, Magic the Gathering, which I've never played the actual physical card game, and I know it's been around for a long time. When it came onto the computer, I looked at it, and I saw other lots of streamers playing it, and I was like, not really interested, because Magic the Gathering wasn't designed to be an, an online card game. It was it was just based off the actual like you know the the older the IRL game. So the the, the artwork just wasn't there for me. It's like it's like when you watch an anime, you ha I I like to like the artwork that I'm watching. So just with the games, I like the art, I'd like to like the artwork. And with Artifact, I I would like to try it. The artwork is actually amazing. Different style of Hearthstone. So and I did play Dota in the past. And uh, I know it's just like a card game of Dota, so I'd like to try it and yeah, give it a go. Who knows? Maybe I could just juggle like Hearthstone and Artifact. I think that's really cool. I like that they're doing something different to Hearthstone. Sometimes it can be frustrating to spend like so much money and trying to get the card you want or lots of dust to craft the card you want. Um, I think it's very straight to the point and I, I do like just getting what I want from a store. It's just like real life. You go to a store, you get what you want. All right. Yeah, so I, I like it. It's pretty cool. Let's try it out. <laughs> well, I just I, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support and I'm glad for all the people who are here to watch me and I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs>